Greetings and welcome to today's session where we are looking at installing WordPress locally on your machine. How you can install WordPress and design websites locally that is offline without the internet. This is by use of ZAMP, by the help of ZAMP. So we need to download ZAMP. If you have it, install it. So I type ZAMP download. Then I go to this official website www.apachefriends.org and then I download from their official website. I'm going to download the latest version on top. So as you download ZAMP, you also need to download the latest version of WordPress so that you have two files. That is ZAMP and also WordPress. So I'm going to click OK and I download. So here it comes and I tap on start download. So that is I'm downloading ZAMP. That is my transfer rate. The speed is at 7 to 6 Mbps, meaning that that one is soon getting downloaded. So I can open a new tab and I also type WordPress download so that I can download WordPress as well. Then I tap download WordPress.org. Then I tap on get WordPress. And then below here, I can download WordPress. I can click OK to download. And then I can now start download. It will also be completed in a second. Now, I'm going to share these official links for WordPress and for ZAMP in the video description so that you simply tap on the link and you download. So once this is done, you can now check in your PC, you go to Downloads and check. I'm going under Programs. I have ZAMP and I have WordPress. So I'm going to install ZAMP. After installing ZAMP, then we shall extract Word, WordPress files into ZAMP in a folder called htdocs. So I can now install ZAMP. I click Yes. Welcome to ZAMP. I click OK with this warning message. Click Next. Next. So it is going to be installed on this folder. That is C. It is going to create a folder called ZAMP. And all files for this uh, server will be installed there. So click Next and Install. So in a few minutes, a few seconds, ZAMP will have installed depending on how fast your computer is, ZAMP will be installed. Now that the installation is complete, you can click on Finish. So this is the ZAMP control panel. This one, you can minimize it for now. And now, here, we are going to extract these WordPress files into our we are going to extract these WordPress files into our ZAMP folder, which is under C, local disk C, then the folder ZAMP. Then when you open that folder called ZAMP, look for htdocs here. You open htdocs and then extract these files. These files, so I can right click and then I choose extract all. Then I look for where I'm going to extract them. I can browse. Then I go to C, local disk C, ZAMP, then htdocs, I select folder. Then I say extract. So these files are going to be extracted into htdocs. Alternatively, you can copy this WordPress zipped file you come to your c zamp htdocs you paste it here after pasting it here you can right click let me show more options then you say extract here so the files will be extracted in that folder 
So we are waiting for the extraction to get done. And once extraction is complete, we shall continue with the other remaining uh, procedures on how to install WordPress. So shortly, the extraction will be done in the htdocs folder. Now that extraction is done, extraction is done, so we have in our local disk C, ZAMP, htdocs, WordPress, this folder. We can rename it into our name or the name of the website you are going to design. So, for example, I'm going to rename this folder WordPress. I'm going to name it as my name. For example, I'm going to give it my name, Benny. That is how I've named my WordPress uh, folder. Now you come to the ZAMP control panel. You can start Apache. You can also start MySQL. After confirming that these two are now running, they have their ports. Now you can come to MySQL here on admin. When you open that, it will load into in the browser. Or if you don't want to do that, you can open your browser, you type localhost localhost slash php my admin make sure the spelling is correct you press on enter it is going to load the same page so from here we are going to add a new database so i'm going to add new then create database database name i'm going to call it benny that's the database name the way I renamed my folder here. So I click on create. So the database has been created. It is here as Ben. So with this database, I can now open a new tab. And on this new tab, I can type localhost, localhost slash Ben. I press enter. So you can see that now it is loading my site Benny. So I'm going to set it up and finish. So the language we are using English, United States. I click continue. And then I'm going to give a database name, username, password. So I tap on let's go. Then here, database name, Benny. Then uh, username, put root. That is by default. Then for the password, I can even leave, the, leave out the password. And then I click submit. Then I run the installation. Site title, I'm designing, let's say I'm designing my website for a hotel. Let's say I say Cubs hotel cubs hotel then username i can say admin password I can say admin one two three four five six at hash at hash star exclamation mark something like that we need those so stronger passwords but for a student who is just designing a website you can simply have admin like that i confirm use of a weak password then email you can say cubs at gmail.com then i install wordpress so at this point we are done we can now log in so when i log in username was admin my password was admin i can choose to remember or not to remember then i log in 
So at this point, you have installed WordPress on your computer locally. It is for Cubs Hotel. So if I want, I can right click and open a new tab to visit the site. So here, this is the dashboard where you control everything from in the dashboard where you will design your website from. So here, this is how your website looks like. Cubs Hotel. This is the page. So this one, you customize it, add more pages until when your website is ready. So in the next episode, we are going to look at how we design a website from this WordPress that we have installed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share the link to colleagues together against computer literacy. Jabris.